Hey, I just realized I don't have a joke today. And nothing comes. Sorry about that. I don't do unboxings very often, but I'm gonna do an unboxing today. And here's the box. Look at that. Australia. This is from, from Peter Sullivan, who, uh, who's a friend of the channel and who, um, who watch, you know, quite a few YouTubers. He reached out um, uh, over a month ago and said, you know, can I send you some soaps from Australia? I said, yeah, sure. And then he <laughs> said, you know, we're, this is basically a, an Australian pharmacy. So I'm gonna unbox it. So I haven't opened anything yet. I just opened the box and let's just see what's in there. Um, <laughs> crazy. There is there are a few stuff that looks look very similar. I think it's I don't know if it's shaving related, but it's it's sukin, which is Australian. There's appears to be a series of stuff. This is a facial scrub. Cool. Um, and then we have another one, which I think is from the same manufacturer. I have bubble wrap forever and ever now. Yeah, this is a moisturizer. Sukin. Sukin moisturizer. And is there more? Yes, there is. What do we have here? Yeah. Beautifully packaged. So, bubble wrap, and then if there's a pump, an extra plastic bag. Phenomenal, and the whole packaging is such that this box would fall off an airplane and the goods would still be okay. Shaving gel, have a look at that. It's the same series again. And I think, I don't know if this is the last one. Um, wrong order, but this is the facial cleanser. Cool, I have no idea what this is. Uh, never heard of the brand, but I will be using it, so thank you so much. And there's more. There's loads of soaps. And I was so lucky because the postal service and the customs authorities have been so sharp lately. No fees, no customs, nothing. And the trick was Peter uh, indicated it was a gift and he put super low values for the products. I, I think this is it. Okay, first soap. Oh, this is a good one. I've tried this before because I borrowed it for a while from, from Mati, who got his soaps from Peter as well. So this is uh, the Warden from Squadron. Incidentally, this, not, not this tub, but this uh, soap will be one of the prizes in the giveaway. Uh, no, in the raffle we're doing at Shave and Butcher fundraising raffle. So Peter is donating one of those and we'll send it from Australia. But this is cool and, you know, it's top notch. Thank you very much. Um, okay, one more. This is fun. I don't know if you're having fun, but I, I sure am. This is Squadron, again, and this is Ace. Uh, what was in this one? De -de -de. Scent notes aren't written on it. Let's have a sniff. What it looks like. It looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that is nice. That reminds me of something. It reminds me a bit of Stella Alpina from Saponificio Varesino. Uh, I think this is the one, one of the ones I, I said, yeah, that sounds good. So cool. Thank you. Another squad roll. Uh, moving on. Oh, here's, here's uh, Salt Lake Soaps. This is Cuban. Um, so, yeah, just reading, just reading. There's a tallow soap, pretty cool. So Cuban, mm, what does it smell like, I wonder? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a bit of tobacco in it and there's 
there's more. I get chocolate. That's probably not the intention. But you know, soaps um, appear different when when you put them on the face. Oh, that is just lovely, lovely, lovely. Thanks again. And there's more. There is more. Another one from uh, ooh, from Salt Lake soaps. This one is. Persian lime and lemongrass. So Persian lime. What is a Persian lime? There you go. That looks good. Looks like a dessert. Oh, very, very distinctive lime. And lemongrass for sure. Ah, oh, smells like food. You don't get that artificial sensation you sometimes get. This is, that was nice. That's gonna be brilliant. Okay, this is taking a bit of time, but I'm not rushing. This is, uh, this is unboxing. Okay, this, this one is cool. You can see where it's from. This is Oaken Labs, Oaken Lab, Earth of Mankind. You've seen this around. This is from, is it uh, Bali? No, Indonesia. Indonesian soap. How cool is that? Really, really nice. Really nice tub. Earth of mankind. What is it? Colonial Java. Uh, Creek Haze. No, Cretic Haze. I don't know what that is. Agar Wood and Mystical Spice. Doesn't that look like chocolate mousse? Oh. That is, that is nice. That is nice. Earth of Mankind, Oaken Labs. Oh, this is the bottle once again, so extra wrapped. I have wrapping all over my, my bathroom. Oh, Oaken Lab Aftershave Balm. Cool, there you go. Now I wonder if this is scented then. Alcohol free. Uh, yeah. Anais. Anis. I know what it is. I don't know what it, how it's pronounced. Peppermint and orange. Yeah. I think we might be trying that out. I have stuff all over the place. Last but not least is this pretty thing. Now this this looks like classic packaging. Whispers from the Woods. I'd never heard of those before, before Peter mentioned them. So, oh yeah, that is pretty, pretty classy. That's how it opens. And there's a thank you note. Um, cool, to Peter. We're keeping it. Oh, he's got candy in it. <laughs> he's copying Matti. He's put candy in, Mentos. You know what, that's what you put in, Coca-Cola. Oh, there's one more there. Okay, so this is Pomelo. Oh, we did talk about that, Pomelo. From Whispers from the Woods. So Pomelo, which is a citrus fruit, orange, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, uh, bergamot lemon. Uh, I think it's a um, yeah it's a vegan soap it's a non tallow soap looks good as well they're good at pouring the Australians oh Ooh, that smells like food beautiful beautiful wow all that stuff Peter um, literally blown away no not literally i'm still standing here but jeez that is a, a mail call of a, of, of a lifetime thank you ever so much i'm gonna do a, a shave and um, i'll just cl clean things up prep everything and be back for a shave with some of this stuff stay tuned okay back 
face face washed and prepped properly so <clears throat> a lot of things to choose from we're going with oaken lab earth of mankind followed by the oaken lab bomb see how that works out um, razor is the mk31 from cv heliastron and the brush is designed by Frank Stromberg and turned handle by Martin Lindahl. So really cool, really, really cool. I am, you know, I'm ecstatic. So many things to, to shave with. It's gonna be a bit of an Aus Australian theme here for a while. Um, of course, this soap, I don't know. I've never used it before, so I don't know how it behaves. This is really first impressions. Huh, tobacco-y. What did we say it was supposed to smell like? I always get something else. Um, yeah, coffee, wood, spice. Um, loads pretty easily. It's not super soft, but it's, it's not a hard, hard soap. It has some bite to it. And the, the lather is, is not white, obviously, because the soap is kind of dark. I know it's hard to see, but it's, it's, um, it's a chocolatey, no, yeah, coffee-ish uh, scent or uh, nuance to it. Oh, it smells brilliant. You do get coffee. I get chocolate too. But I, as I said, you know, everybody's nose is different. Definitely tobacco. And a bit of spicy stuff. I think we've loaded enough. We'll massage that in a bit. This boar brush is... Uh, oh! I did memorize what it is. But I, I don't dare say it because I always confuse the, the different knots. A nice one and we're adding water to it I have a good feeling about this so you, you used to see Oaken Lab I've, I've seen it a number of times but not in a while um, so obviously I don't know what is new and what is not new from their from their offering this is uh, this is definitely the scent that sounds the most intriguing to me. You know, I'm painting quite a bit of water into this. So, massively overloaded, as, as per usual. Oh yeah, that, is, that needs a lot more water, but then more fun. More fun for me, more fun for you. That's why you tune in, isn't it? Okay, so now we know we can load quite a bit less. The the way the soap acts so far reminds me of of another soap, but I can't remember which one. Good soaps are similar in many ways, but this this one in particular, I can't. No. And I'm very happy that I feel no tingling on the skin. I have felt that before with uh, with coffee, coffee scented soap. Now, I don't know if, if they if they have coffee in them, and I haven't checked this one. Probably not. But the coffee um, coffee scent um, gives that reaction to quite a few people. I've heard. But nothing here, at least not yet, so very lucky that way. <laughs> it's still super dry. I don't know if you can see how much water I'm actually painting in. It's a lot. Then again, that doesn't automatically mean you have a thirsty soap because it does depend on how heavily you've loaded the soap. Uh, but I have a feeling this is pretty thirsty anyway. What does it remind me of? I'm I'm too too rubbish with soap bases to 
to remember, basically. I hope it's not one of those soaps that all of a sudden you feel, oh, dry, need more water, too dry, and then boom, ruined. Because some soaps are finicky like that. Oh, it's getting there. Still has this light brown tint to it, like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, coffee with milk, but uh, quite a lot of milk. Quite a lot of cream. Oh, it's coming together. It's not a. It's not a very voluminous slather. It's more thick and dense, which I think most people appreciate as 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 the better choice. Look at that, it's starting to be peaky. So I'm just gonna paint this in now. I'm sorry about the tap. So just painting water in, see if we can maintain some kind of structure while, while I hydrate it sort of enough. Let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, can take a bit more water, I think. Mm. Let's see. Oh, this is a long video. Lucky you. People go, oh, it's been been building that lather now for six minutes. Well, it's fun. Okay, we'll work with that. We will work with that. Nice sheen to it, really nice. Yeah, there you go. On to the shade. I had a busy day today. Busy at home, crazy, home office. Home office craziness. Going into the office tomorrow, actually. Um, so, that should be fun. Here we go. MK31 on the Oaken Lab soap. This is definitely one of those soaps that gives the the creamy, rich feeling on the face. Boom shakalaka. Just feels soft. It's doing all right, this tiny razor. <clears throat> it's good stuff. It's small, but it, it is good to mix things up. I prefer slightly larger razors typically. This one shaves beautifully. And sometimes you should try things that are a bit different. I mean, I use this with some frequency. Oh, what a lather, hey? Too wet for some. Pretty perfect for me. Really enjoy that lather. Good soap. Nice scent. The scent stays with you. And you know, the, the lather that dropped off just sits there as, as pudding in the sink. Mm, does a good job. Does a good job, this razor. Really cool, really cool. I'm gonna have so much fun with these lovely things. Took a while. I 
I haven't, I forgot to check. I'm gonna say five, six weeks. Sometimes you get that. Or even from America. Sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's six. How is that even possible? Huh? Yeah, no, it's clear this is a first class soap. Really is. I mistreated it with battering it and so much water and it, it still behaves. She's, um, she's in a good mood still. And you, you, can, you can see that it's, you know, it's rich. It's, it doesn't, it's not runny. It's chocker block filled with water and it's not runny. That's, that's pretty cool. You know, there is a bit of skill or, or you know, practice in building the lather, so I'm not hopelessly poor at that. But if you, if you don't have a good soap, it's hard to get that really, really super quality. Okay. Second pass. Really nice. Well, it's a slick soap, that's for sure. Then again, I find most soaps pretty slick. If they're wet. Slippery when wet. Okay, there's a tag going on. Another one. This time it's CDB where you're supposed to pick five soaps and you're supposed to think those are the, the only five soaps or soap brands that you can keep forever because the world is going to pieces or something And you have to choose according to certain criteria, such as scents and variety, and cost and sentimental value, that sort of thing. So that's what we're doing next. Uh, it's so damn hard to choose though. So we'll see. Coming soon. Brilliant shade, really nice. It's good, this little thing. It's interesting how much harder I push with a straight razor compared to a, a, sh a wake. Speaking of Chevettes, there will be a Kismet Chevette, brand new, in the raffle as well. Um, so check it out. Well, not yet, because I haven't posted any pictures, but it's going to be in there. And for the first time, a couple of DE racers. Some Matti soaps he's generously offered. I haven't heard much from some of the other soap makers. So are they sleeping? Or don't they watch every video I make? <laughs> Maybe. Why would you if you're a soap maker? Why would you if you're anything? Okay, last bit now under under the chin. So great when you know straight away the result's gonna be great. Because the skin is good and the and the soap is good and the razor is good and there's there's like 
almost nothing you could do to mess it up. Well, famous last words. <laughs> Try and pass the goal post. <clears throat> Here we go. Home stretch. Absolutely brilliant. I'm not joking. So, if I only had five soaps, tag challenge video coming up soon. I keep saying that, so I have to do it soon, because otherwise I'll, I'll be here choosing soaps forever and ever. That was like at three o'clock in the morning, waking everybody up by emptying the soap cabinet and said, yeah, this, the, maybe this, this brand for scent, and I don't know, horrible. When you start thinking about it, you discover you're a sad, sad nerd. Oh, the feeling on the face from that soap and from the shave. Absolutely top notch. So first time I try it, I'll try it more. I may have more opinion, but it's clear straight away that is a, that is a absolutely top notch soap for sure. Okay, so let's try the the aftershave, which then is completely different in scent. <laughs> well, what can you do? We want to try things out. So this is a pump thing. Let's see if anything comes out. Ooh. Ah, okay, it was just the first bit. That will be too much, I'm sure. Ah, smells really nice. Mmm, oh, that is cool. That is cool. Interesting. Well, it'd be fun to see how that. I used a bit too much, I think. Fun to see how that absorbs into the skin. It's not very thick. So, but it, yeah. Probably a winner as well. Well, no one but like half an hour. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Thank you, Peter, ever so much. I, I don't know, you know, if there's anything you need, just let me know. Within reason, right? Thanks for watching, guys and girls. I'll see you soon. Meanwhile, stay sharp.